This time last year, before he knew what was growing inside him, Mark Herslick was having the greatest season of his life. Look out, Herslick's got it. They're going to bring this to the house. You got to know where number 94 is at all times. He did things that uh, you couldn't, couldn't possibly coach. Spectacular and like Superman, really. The ACC Defensive Player of the Year and a finalist for the Butkus Award as college football's top linebacker, Herslick finished his junior season as a star. Already projected as a high first-round pick in the 2010 NFL Draft. I started thinking about the life that you could have um, with that type of success. And you know that's that's where that's where your mind goes. In the spring, everything changed. Feeling pain in his left leg, Herslick returned home after the semester ended and went through a battery of tests. May 12th, a doctor informed him and his family what was wrong. He told us that there is a large tumor in the leg. Um, it uh, doesn't, he doesn't know if it was cancerous or not. He said he was about 90% sure it was. It was a very, very large lesion involving the femur, most of the femur, and with a large soft tissue component. So he's being treated with chemotherapy, and the chemotherapy is multi-agent, and uh, it's given uh, very frequently. Mark probably handled it better than, than Barb and I did. The first thing that crosses your mind is obviously football because that's, that's your physical, physical activity. That's, that's what I do, um, you know, and was hopefully going to make a living doing it. And then that quickly kind of leaves your mind, and then you kind of worry about, well, am I going to live till I'm 50? Am I going to be able to have kids? Am I going to, um, you know, be able to do all this stuff? Is, is how long, how long do I have? Uh, football, football will be what it is. He says, I don't want to die. You hear the newspapers that uh, Mark Hurts like tackling cancer and stuff like this with all these uh, metaphors, but it really is that way for Mark, that he sees it as just another opponent that needs to overcome. And to him, it's not this big undefeatable foe, it's just, it's something he needs to deal with. In, you know, a matter of 20 minutes, I went from being a top five draft pick into not knowing if I'm going to live for the next five months. So damn easy to say that life's so hard. Everybody's got their share of battle scars. As for me, I'd like to thank my lucky stars that I'm alive. And well, we were in shock. Um, you know, we had, had no anticipation, no preparation for this sort of thing. We've all tried to stick together as best we can and tackle it head on together. And, um, and Mark's let us uh, join him in this. He, he hasn't tried to exclude us from it, um, which kind of helps us work together. It'd be easy to add up all the pain And all the dreams you sat and watched go up in flames Dwell on the wreckage as it smolders in the rain But not me, I'm alive And today you know that's good enough for me fear that he wouldn't have a chance that it was too late to do anything that's the biggest fear what 
fear did you see in your son? I saw a fight in my son. Chemo is terrible. It's something that I really don't hope anyone has to do. <sighs> nasty. It is nasty. That's what they tell me. Kind of like anything in life, once you get a stumbling block in the road, you just gotta push through it and do everything you can to make it go away, basically. So that's what, you know, I've been doing. Hopefully get rid of this. As draining as the sessions have been, Perslick maintained his workout schedule and kept his weight up. And it's 244. This fall, as his test consistently showed the tumor shrinking, he not only returned to classes, but also to his team. Stars are dancing on the water here tonight. It's good for the soul when there's not a soul in sight. This boat has caught its wind and brought me back to life. Now I'm alive and well. Just talking him through plays, uh, you know, sitting in the meetings. He's always at the meetings and, you know, be on the field. And j just like he did when he had his uniform on, really. Hey, defense, let's go. Oh, that's past the field. Throw the flag. Are you coming back next year? Yes, sir. I am. Why do you say it that way? Because uh, I don't, I don't ever really accept failure for myself. Yeah, I'm alive.